there's many sleep services out there. You're gonna have sleep labs um, that are private. You'll have hospital-based sleep labs, and you'll have a lot of online home sleep testing units. So what makes us different from one of these sleep testing units? We use a type two study. So a lot of these other ones you'll see they're type three and type four. So what's the difference in that? The difference is that a type two monitoring device that we use, it measures, uh, measures a whole lot of things. It measures breathing, chest and abdominal belts, your pulse, your blood oxygen levels, your heart rate and rhythm, leg movements, your chin movement, uh, your eye movements, electroencephalograph, which is your brain activity. So we know if you're awake or asleep, which is extremely important for a sleep study. Um, and we can, uh, we put this all into a comprehensive report and we have it read by our sleep specialist. So this is very, very different than a screening device. Ours is a full diagnostic study. So what you're gonna see with other home sleep tests is they measure your pulse, uh, they measure your breathing, and that's about it. You'd have to really compare and see what they are. Typically, it's just a strap you're gonna wear around your chest, and then a cannula, and a uh, finger probe, that's it. Um, as far as the channels that are recorded, uh, we, we all measure the exact same things. It really is the exact same report that you're gonna get in a regular uh, in-lab or hospital-based sleep lab setting. It's actually, as far as the channels that are recorded, everything that we're measuring is gonna be the exact same. The difference being, um, you're gonna be studied in your own, own home with our system. So, you know, what's different with this is you're not gonna have a technician there monitoring you. Um, you'll be test, being tested in your own sleeping environment with our system. There's no cameras recording you. There's no technicians entering the room. Um, there's no uh, shared bathroom with other patients. There's no patient sleeping next to you that may be loud and disruptive. You're going to have the same familiar sights and sounds and smells uh, in your own home. You're going to have your own climate control, which is always a huge deal in a sleep lab. And then in general, there's just no lab noise and there's no travel to a sleep lab. You're going to be in your own home. And to us, it just makes sense to have your sleep tested where you actually sleep. We have very detailed instructions on how to hook yourself up. So really it's a lot of repetition, but if you can put a belt on around your chest and if you can uh, cut tape pretty much and follow directions, you'll be able to do it. Um, it's probably easier with the assistance of someone else, but there's a training video we have that shows how to do it on your own. Well, first of all, you need to get a referral from your doctor. So, you know, to mention before, if you have any of those signs and symptoms of sleep apnea, just go see your doctor and take in our form, have them fill it out. Um, and it needs to be by either an MD, a DO, a nurse practitioner, or a physician's assistant. Any of those are acceptable. That's it. If you have any questions about this, just please feel free to contact us anytime and be more than happy to answer your questions.